After months in isolation, the idea of coming to a bustling airport, let alone getting on an actual plane, can be slightly unnerving. Here at Heathrow, things are a lot quieter than usual, but they're doing everything they can to try and make the place COVID safe with a fair bit of help from technology. Let's go take a look. Leave this first. These robots were previously used to kill off hospital-acquired infections, but now there's one in each terminal, deployed to disinfect, mapping its route and focusing on the most common touch points. It uses UVC light, um, and viruses uh, don't have an immune system to UVC, and that, in effect, stops it from replicating and kills the virus. The only way we could safely see it lit up and working, though, was through the window of this conference room. There's good reason we can't go in there. Apparently, for the first few seconds it's on, the room actually smells of burning skin. That's just from anything that may be laying around in the office. So to avoid any nasty burns, it needs to get its work done when no one is around. It's motion and vibration sensors double checking that nobody has appeared unexpectedly. But at least it's pretty speedy. The uh, airport here, this robot can actually disinfect 18,000 square metres within a space of say two and a half hours. It, it disinfects, doesn't clean, so it's nice to send this into say a washroom, you disinfect it and then it's safe for the cleaning staff to go in and then they can clean. In an airport, it's not just about cleaning overnight, though. A place like this is usually pretty busy, and that means people's hands going on the same surfaces quite a lot, especially somewhere like an escalator. But the solution here could also lie in a UV light. This escalator has been retrofitted with one underneath the belt, so it means every time it goes round, it's being sanitised. And the whole route we take through the airport seems to have been carefully considered. Stickers on lift buttons, wrappers on escalator handles. So think about your antibacterial spray, but from a virus point of view. You wrap that around the escalator handle and it basically gives you several months of uh, uh, virus-free touching. And what we do is we have a, uh, a technical check that we can make. Our biotechnicians do this on a regular basis to see what the viral load is on those touch points. And they can make sure that that wrapper is working and fully functional. It's used in a number of different places. We have them on lift buttons, we have them on escalators, and we also have them really importantly on trolley handles. There's also mandatory mask wearing and other safety features are being trialled, like this camera detection system tracking people's temperatures. The only thing that seems to be missing right now, though, is somewhat unsurprisingly, the passengers. 